Hey everybody, my name is Travis and we're going to do a video here today on how to set up the new S3 Wi-Fi ST. But what we're, what we're going to do first is we're going to show you how to distinguish between the old style data logger and the new style. The old style looks like this. It doesn't have any LEDs on the outside. It has an antenna and that's what the top looks like. This is the old style. So for the new style, it has three LEDs on the outside right here. It's got power, net, and comm, and it's got a reset button on the outside, which is really nice. The power uh, will indicate five volts from the inverter. The comm will indicate it has communication with the inverter, and net means you have communication with the Souls Cloud server. It also has a QR uh, code on the outside, which you can scan with your app. So next, we're going to show you how to install it and then sync it with your local uh, router. Thank you. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place the data logger in the Solus inverter. And if you look on the bottom here, there's four connections and a little key. And the key is going to prevent you from putting it in the inverter wrong. So you're going to go uh, under any wife, uh, Solus inverter and you're going to see the little green connection. You're going to twist the top and then it's going to go into the inverter. Twist it until you cannot twist anymore and don't over tighten. And then the, the red light will come on indicating as five volts. And then uh, the comm will come on indicating as communication. And now it's gonna uh, now search for a local Wi-Fi router. So what we're gonna do now uh, is we're gonna connect it to a local router. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to connect the router to the data logger. So we're gonna go into Solus Cloud. So Solus Cloud, more tools at the bottom here, Wi-Fi configuration. We're gonna scan the QR code on the data logger. And then we're gonna hit next. One click distribution. We're gonna put the password in and I'll hide that from you. Hit next. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the reset button on the back for five seconds until the comm and net start flashing like that. And then we're gonna say it's flashing and go next. And then it'll configure it. Hit okay. And then what you're gonna do now is you're gonna log in to the Souls Cloud and you're gonna see uh, if your plant is online. Okay, we're at solacloud.com, www.solacloud.com. Uh, we're gonna log into our account, agree to the privacy policy and log in. And now uh, I've created this S3 Wi-Fi ST. If you need to add a plant, just go up here to the top right and add a plant. I'm gonna click into this plant and I'm gonna add my device. So obviously there's no data logger here added and essentially no inverter. So we're gonna to go to add data logger. We're going to put our serial number in of our data logger. We're gonna put a plus and we're gonna confirm. And now we're gonna see if our device is online that we just put online and there it is. And then after five minute rotation, your inverter will populate here and then your data will start flowing in here. That's it, everybody. Thank you.